you need to know your RV's measurements, especially the height. Definitely the height, <laughs> and we're going to show you how to get that along with other measurements right now. We recently put out a two-part series about our awesome time in Glacier National Park. Mm -hmm. If you saw that, you know that we barely made it under the bridge to get into West Glacier because it was 13.6. Yeah, and if you watched our RV planning and GPS video, you know that you really need an RV-aware GPS. Definitely. Mm -hmm. By RV-aware, I mean it's got to know particularly your weight and your height and your width. And that's because an RV aware GPS is going to route you based on those measurements and not let you end up under something you can't get under. <laughs> and for the record, our GPS that we did in our video, we still like it. The GPS that we talked about in that video was the Rand McNally unit, and we still like it, we still use it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's made a couple of minor mistakes that haven't been a big deal. And now Techno RV is recommending the Garmin. I guess there were some support issues maybe with Rand McNally, but we trust Eric and Tammy. And if they say the Garmin is great, the Garmin is great. The biggest thing is have some kind of RV aware GPS and why not have two? Yes. You can have a hardware dedicated GPS like we have, like the Rand like McNally. Like the Rand or, McNally. Yeah, or the mm -hmm. Garmin. Uh, get one of those and have a backup, maybe like a software GPS on your iPhone or Android. A really good option for a software GPS is the new RV Life app. That's right. It's actually part of the RV Trip Wizard portfolio. Mm -hmm. It is their GPS app. Yeah, the RV Life app integrates with RV Trip Wizard. And the cool thing about that is if you're using RV Trip Wizard to plan your trips, it's already in there. You yeah. just click on it mm -hmm. and go. So I usually run the RV Life app on my phone while we also run the Rand McNally GPS unit. Mm -hmm. and, and so I'm that way we have both. <laughs> yeah, and I'm running it on my phone. So technically we have three GPSs running. Yeah. The RV Life app is not free, but it's certainly worth the purchase for the GPS feature. And it also does have downloadable maps. Mm -hmm. So if you're worried about being in the mountains or somewhere where you don't have cell coverage, you can download the maps and have them locally so you're not using your data. Yeah, you guys know we like to be prepared. Mm -hmm. To get an accurate measurement, you need to be in travel mode and on a level surface. Right. You can do it in your campground, but you got to hook it up just like you're ready to go. Mm -hmm. And only if your campground is level, so check that. But you might do it in a rest area or Park truck stop. or something. Yeah. But make sure it's level. Get your level out and check the ground first, because if that's not level, the rest of it's just garbage. It's a waste of time. Yeah. So we're lucky we're in a campsite here we've, that we've checked and it's level. Yes. And, and surprisingly so, really, because it's a state park type of yeah. campground so we know it's level because it was flooded and the water was very much equal the whole yeah. way across our site yeah. <laughs> we've been wanting to film this video for about a week but we had four days of rain which turned into a lakefront site yeah. so now it's dried up and we're ready to go mm -hmm. we've got the truck hitched up we've got the jacks up slides are in <sighs> And that's mainly so we can actually get a measurement off the side without having to go over the slide. Everything's kind of in travel mode. We didn't put our patio up as you might be able to see back there. Now you can't see it. Yeah. So it's the same whether you're in a trailer like we are, a travel trailer, a fifth wheel, a class A, class B. Just have it in travel mode. If you're a class A or class B, you could probably just pull your jacks up. For us, you know, we've got to get on the hitch. Yeah, and what about the airbags? Right, so we have airbags in ours and many people do who have fifth wheels. So we want to have measurements with the airbags full and the airbags empty, just in case it makes a little bit of difference. You know, if you're going under one of those 13-6 bridges in Glacier and you want to let the air out of the bags like we did. Yes, the airbags are in the truck, just to <laughs> clarify. Yeah, we have the Airlift 7500XLs. And you may wonder why we have the airbags. A lot of people have those to help level or um, kind of compensate for being overloaded on their truck. We did it for the ride. We have elastic shackles and airbags and it's for the ride. It does help a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. We run 55 PSI, sometimes 60. I'll play with it while we're driving to see what feels best. And when we're not hooked up or we consider zero is just five PSI. Right. 
Checking your height with your airbags inflated is obviously most important. That's gonna give you your highest measurement. We're gonna check ours both. I'm not even sure if there's a difference because we've never done this inflated and deflated. Yeah. So you'll find, out, you'll find out with us. Yeah. So tools you need. Hopefully you ha already have some of these things. Obviously, tape measure. Gotta have your level. Gotta have a level. Some sort of maybe duct tape or gorilla tape or something. Good and tape. You'll, you'll, yeah, some good tape because you don't want to be doing this over and over again. <laughs> and you'll need something along the lines of this. So maybe like a two by four, something with maybe... Something sturdy. Yeah, something stiff that's not going to flop around. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, four or five feet long. We happen to have this angle aluminum that's left over from a project where I kind of supported our chloroplast underneath our RV. Uh, so we're going to use this. Okay. Nice, nice ready and to, sturdy. Ready to give it a shot? Yep. Okay. So on a lot of RVs, it's going to be obvious where to measure from, where the high point is. On an RV like ours, it's not quite so obvious. I mean, these should all be pretty close to the same when the RV is level. Uh, but just to be safe, we're going to measure from all three points, all three ACs that are obviously the highest spots on our RV. All right. With the tape. The key to this part is you don't want the tape measure to be like on top. You want it to be on the bottom because the bottom is what's going to be on your level, your high point here. So I'm going to tape it something like that. That happened quickly. Okay, 13, six. 13, six. 13, six. Cool. Are you pulling it up? What? Are you? Do you have it level? I, I can't. I can't hear you because the AC just kicked on. Thirteen four. Thirteen four. Yeah. That's weird. That's why I was asking if you were holding it level. Oh, you know this air conditioner is thinner. Okay. Well, there you go. Yeah, that makes sense. Tara is letting the air out of the airbags. So it's about 13.5. Really? Huh. 13.5 and a half, 13.6-ish, it's kind of in between there. So we lost about a quarter to a half an inch. Yeah. So not a big deal. Yeah. All right, well, that's good to know. Yeah. So as you can see, that was not too difficult. Not at all. It's not rocket science. You just want to make sure you're using a level and that you're measuring from the bottom of your implement because that's the part that's going to be resting on your AC or whatever your highest point is. Mm -hmm. Obviously a two-person job. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and we did find out that we are 13.4 in the back mm -hmm. by the back AC. Yeah, because that AC is actually a little bit smaller than the other two ACs. Mm -hmm. And then we also measured the length of the whole rig total mm -hmm. and we're 61 feet. Yeah, we're big, large and in charge. <laughs> large and, in charge. <laughs> and we measured our width, which is about eight feet, six inches legal term, yeah. edge to edge. But we add a couple inches on for handles and stuff like that. So <laughs> we're going to call that eight feet, eight inches. Right. If you're really in a pinch and you have to get lower by an inch or two, you can always let some air out of your tires. Yeah. Obviously, that's your last resort. That's like just get under the bridge, get on the other side and fill your tires back up. Yep. So once you've got all these measurements, you want to put them in a place where you can quickly and easily access them while you're driving. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like to print them out and put them on a card or something inside the cab. Right. You might even want to have them converted into different units of measurement. Exactly. Have it in your feet and inches, have it in inches and have it in meters and centimeters because you're going through Canada and all of a sudden, 
holy crap, how high is three yeah. and a half meters? Yeah. I don't know. And we actually got that tip from one of our followers. So mm -hmm. thanks so much for that. That's a wonderful tip. Yep. I'll take see all these bugs. <laughs> it's freaking ridiculous. I mean, I'm sure that they can probably see them flying around on because we're both wearing black today. Please subscribe, click the like button, follow us on social media, and click that bell also and check out our website changinglanesrv.com. Yeah, we gotta get out of these bugs. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> these little tiny bugs. I know, man. So man, we could not have picked a worse day for freaking mosquitoes up here. They're swarming. So now that you've got all of these measurements, you want to put them in a place you can easily access them. Access? Access. Yeah. <laughs> all right. You want the you tape? Want to... No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you ready? Ready for what? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever's next. You almost, you're coming close to hitting me, mister. Should we have, <laughs> should we spray bug spray on ourselves or something so that they're I'll not be all right. I think, I think once we're not sitting in one place, they'll have a hard time catching us. Dander, you got a hair curling over the top Smart. of this. I did it on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never did claim to have any. Get it like you're gonna roll it. Okay, I knew this was a bad idea. <laughs> Hold it like you're gonna roll it. And I know this. I know this sucks, but yeah. you gotta suck it up, Buttercup. No, that'll work. Yes. <laughs>